I'm Mary Bigup, a food writer living outside of Philly. I love to eat and I love to travel, so in order to expand my culinary horizons, I've teamed up with Southwest Airlines for a series of whirlwind, one-day food adventures. Follow me, the food nerd, Danielle, our social media guru, and Jay, the video guy, as we take one day to meet locals and taste the best eats of their city. On this dish trip, we're in the Mile High City of Denver, Colorado, where we have one day to find out the best eats that Denver has to offer. To thank our hosts, the dish trip team spreads a bit of Philly love by giving away tasty Philly food gifts. Ryan, Sarah, and Jeff, and this is one of their favorite places and a place that um, the Me Network told us to come for happy hour specials, so we're pretty excited about that. All right, well, cheers. Thank you for uh, hosting us at the corner office in Denver for our first stop and our nightcap of the evening before our day of eating begins tomorrow, so cheers. <laughs> cheers, everybody. I got you here on the 16th floor, and would you like Thanks. a warm double tree chocolate chip cookie? I would love one. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about what makes the Curtis Hotel unique. Sure, um, funky, cool, and playful. So um, it's basically all of that wrapped up into 336 guest rooms, uh, 13 themed floors. So we actually let our guests, when they check in, choose the floor oh, that cool. they want to stay oh, really? on. So whether it's the big hair floor, the sci-fi floor, 13th floor is called the dun 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 floor. Right, and no, normally uh, hotels don't have a 13th floor. That is correct. So. And the coolest part is when you get here, you get a warm cookie. You do get a warm cookie So it's because... food related, quirky, and cool. We're here with Mike, who does the Denver Dish website, and he recommended Snooze as the best place to go for breakfast. Welcome to Denver, let's eat. This is one of your favorite spots for breakfast in Denver. Absolutely. So what, what are your go-to items on the menu here? Um, a lot of great Benedicts and then of course the pancakes, which everyone raves about. Do you want to do this thing that I like to do where I get savory and you get sweet mm. and then we can do half and half? That's a good idea. And the guys are so cool. And here oh, it is. Hello. You can put the Benedict in front of this girl. <laughs> I'm a very happy girl right now. I'm glad to hear you like it. I love it. Well, how about a new signature uh, mimosa or Bloody Mary to wash this all down? That sounds awesome. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, cool. All right, cheers. Thank you so much for meeting me this morning and Absolutely. showing me your favorite um, taste of Denver. Thanks for joining us. Did they invented these snap-on, snap-off shirts? Man, you know if someone walked in with this boot to play poker, you'd be in trouble. That is hardcore. This is hardcore cowboy. How do you like them apples? I like the shirt right here. Cheers to Denver.
who's going to show me how to ice skate. I haven't done it in a very long time, so I'm a little nervous about it. Thank you for helping me. It's like a date. We're on a date. We're on a date. So in an effort to warm up after our ice skating adventure, we're at the, por the, the southwest porch at Skyline Park and we're here with Chef Dave who is the man behind the pizza here right next to the rink. What we've got here is uh, the Ifungi, uh, otherwise known as the, the shroom pizza. We use very little uh, ingredients that come together really nicely. Yeah, well. simple. So really an earthy, uh, one of my earthy, very decadent pies. Cool. Do you, do, do you fold it? You fold? Oh, I fold. Okay, I'll fold them. Mmm. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. I'm sorry that I'm leaking on your table. That's all right. I'll leak over here. <laughs> You're so talented. This is great. Ice skating, hot chocolate, and pizza. Mmm. And mozzarella on your table. at the Colt and Gray to meet with Kevin to turn a beer into a cocktail. So one of my favorite beers back home in Philly is Cream of Hills and I heard from a bird that you do something really cool with it. Cheers, thank you so much. Of course. A um, beer made into a cocktail. That's amazing. Everything is so incredible. I love how you take a spin on something and turn it into com something completely different, but still very familiar. Well done. So I'm excited to try two things that of course everyone says that they need to try when they come here and that would be the Rocky Mountain Oysters. All right, drum roll please. <laughs> okay, here I go. It's really good. I think I'm a big horseradish sauce fan. Yeah. All right, I'll do a horseradish. And now I can't stop eating them. That's good. Oh, yeah, I love it. But, uh, this like is perfect. That. It totally hits the spot. This is a uh, fantastic way to end our one day dining adventure in Denver. So thank you so much for having us. We're on the way back to the airport from a successful one day dining adventure in Denver, Colorado. We met some fabulous people and enjoyed an amazing city, and I'm very, very full. Stay tuned for the next dish trip, and follow us on dishtrip.com. <laughs>